Hemet Nettle is a character created by the artist Neko in a series of illustrations called False Slender. Max Factory turned Neko's artwork into an action figure or figma. There's no official manga or story for this character, similar to the other designs by Neko. But Hemet Nettle's look takes inspiration from the Egyptian god of death Anubis, with a cyberpunk and techwear vibe. This is my second action figure from the False Lander series, and the third one designed by Neko. Let's get into it. I'm glad that the box is a lot smaller than Figma Ronin and Denji because this saves a lot more space. Inside the box is a cardboard insert, and there's an art card for Hemet Nettle taped at the back. There's no additional information about Hemet Nettle on this card sheet. We also get a piece of paper with instructions on how to attach the accessories, as well as the usual Figma zip bag, Figma stand, spare joint, and spare hands. For the accessories, Hemet Nettle gets two extra faceplates, two extra head parts, and a long staff. She also comes with an extra abdomen part. Hemet Nettle has two extra faceplates, one serious face looking sideways, and the other one is a smiling face. Her main faceplate has a blank expression with slightly opened mouth, and these can be swapped out by removing the hair part first. She also has two extra hair parts. The first one has black jackal ears with no mask with the movable round earrings. The other one is just plain hair. The fringes for all the hair parts are made of thin, flexible plastic. These give this figure a variety of looks. She also comes with an extra abdomen part which could be swapped by pulling out the upper torso and swapping it with a transparent skirt thingy. This allows you to pose Hemet Nettle without it. Aside from the two opened hands, she comes with a pair of slightly opened hands, closed fists, and a pair for holding her staff. Anubis is often portrayed holding a staff, and in some cases, an Ankh symbol. This attribute is incorporated in Hemet Nettle's staff. It has bronze-colored parts, with white and black cords on the side. The Ankh is an ancient Egyptian symbol that represents the passage of life from one life to the next. Some Egyptian texts consider the Ankh as a feminine symbol. The top part would symbolize the womb or the uterus, and the bottom part would represent the birth canal. The line that intersects the bottom and top part is the liminal line, which depicts the transition into being born. Hemet Nettle has a slender build similar to the other false slender characters. Neko's design aesthetic resonates throughout the whole figure with its bodysuit and straps, and this time with a bit of a fantasy element. She has pink hair with a darker gradient towards the tips and has a dark complexion overall. 
She has a black mask shaped like a dog or jackal, symbolizing the Egyptian god of the underworld, Anubis. The mask sports long ears that point upwards, with round earrings at the base. Her pink hair flows nicely at the back with a bit of articulation. The mask has a pointy nuzzle, and there are bronze accents on the indented parts. As part of her bodysuit, she has a neck ring and a neck collar, similar to the attire worn by Peros and how Egyptian gods are depicted in art. She has number 3 printed on her suit. Her suit covers both arms. Her right hand is exposed, while her left hand wears bronze-colored gloves. She also wears arm rings and bracers. The clothing on her front and back is a transparent piece of flexible plastic. It falls naturally at the front like a skirt with high-cut slits, and it hugs her bum perfectly at the back. I love this feature because it's something unique to this character, but you can always take them off if you don't want them. For both legs, she wears thigh-high stockings that seem to extend as part of the shoes. It's light gray at the front with what looks like a more solid, protective material. It's white at the back with more of a latex texture vibe. Lastly, the shoes has bronze heels and soles. I removed the jackal mask and ears and the transparent part so it's easier to show the articulation. Her head can turn 360 degrees and can move side to side. Just be mindful of her hair when posing, but these are soft and flexible and shouldn't break easily. She can look up and down this much, which isn't really a lot. Her hair can swivel up and down but has no rotation. Here you can see its joints. The hair on both sides are more flexible but harder than the front, and it becomes more solid as you go towards the middle. At the back of her suit is a cord with a swivel joint and a full rotation. It's made of flexible plastic. Her arms can go side to side all the way up, which is good, and can rotate 360 degrees on the shoulder. She has additional rotation just above the elbow joint that gives Hemet Nettle an improved range of movement. Elbows bend more than 90 degrees. Her hands have the usual Figma joint that has a full rotation and a swivel function. You can rotate the upper torso 360 degrees with a good side-to-side -side motion. Her torso can bend forward this much and this much going back. The movement is somewhat limited but I think it's enough. The hip joints can be pulled down to extend the articulation on the lower limbs. The thighs connect to a ball joint which offers a good range of motion. Her lower legs can move side to side this much, almost making a full split, and it can go forward and back this much, but with some limitation going back. There's a full rotation on her thighs, something that's not available to Figma Ronin. Knees bend more than 90 degrees on a single joint. Her feet has a full rotation, forward and back swivel, or side to side depending on how you orient the joint. The added articulation on the hips and thighs gives Hemet Nettle the ability to do a variety of sitting poses. This is a welcome improvement in terms of articulation and overall playability. But be aware that this will lead to gaps on the silhouette and exposed joints, so make sure to adjust the hips when you can. Hemet Nettle stands at 14.5 cm tall or around 5.7 inches. It's 17 cm if you include her ears. For size comparison, here's how she looks beside her sister Ronin and her cousin Ichi. She is shorter than the ghost of Kurosawa and a lot taller than SH Figuarts Bruce Lee. And here's a AA battery for size comparison.
I like how this figure turned out. The silhouette is nice and the sculpt accentuates the female curves very well. I like how the suit and tie highs hug the body and how it enhances her hips. The translucent skirt makes the design unique and tells us how much detail and work the sculptor have put into this figure. Her chest is obviously bigger than Ronin's, which is a common trope for female mages or wizards in manga and anime. This figure may also come off often from its stand because the hole is too shallow, but this can be fixed with some minor modification. There are minor paint bleeds and mold lines when you look real close, and the skin tone could have been improved as it looks pale for a darker skin tone. In general, Figma skin tones are pale regardless of complexion, and I hope this is something they can improve upon in the future. Despite the usual flaws of Figma, Hemet Nettle is still a good figure overall. Neko's designs never fail to impress. A female representation of Anubis is an interesting concept and this gives Hemet Nettle a permanent spot on my shelf. The additional articulation on the hips and thighs are a welcome improvement and I love the contrast between matte and glossy finish. The paint quality has been maintained at a high standard although they could have improved the skin tone. I've come to love the characters from the False Slender line so this was a must buy for me. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment, like, and share. I appreciate the interaction and this will help me reach more people. And please subscribe if you haven't already and help me grow my channel. My name is Al and I'll see you on the next one.